Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at home full body Pilates routine. In today's workout, we're gonna be sculpting our abs, arms, glutes, and thighs. We're also gonna be working through a warm up and a cool down, so you're gonna feel really well stretched, long and strong after completing this workout. I'm gonna be adding in a set of hand weights. These are three pound hand weights. You could go heavier, you could go lighter. You can use no weight at all. It's entirely up to you and your level of strength and the challenge that you're looking for within this routine. A set of ankle weights could also work well for some of the exercises. So if you have those handy, feel free to include them. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right into our workout. I'm gonna place these weights off to the side of the mat and we're just gonna move into an all fours position the wrists below the shoulders and the knees are below the hips here. Now, from here, we're gonna get into some Pilates breathing and really focus on that core engagement. So I'd like you to inhale, just kind of let your belly relax. Inhale in through the nose, and then as you exhale, I want you to pull your belly button in towards your spine, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in throughout the entire range of exhale. Release, inhale, relax your belly. Exhale, vacuum in your belly button in toward the spine, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, until you've breathed out all the air, good. Inhale, relax that belly. Exhale, scoop that navel in, contracting the belly button in toward the spine, good. Inhale, try to relax your shoulders as you do this. As you exhale, breathe out through the mouth, and suck that belly button in toward the spine, tightening the abdominal wall. Good work. Take a few more of those breaths. Really focusing on that core contraction throughout the entire range of exhale. Inhale, relax the belly. Exhale, scoop that navel in. Nicely done. Inhale, relax. And exhale, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Nice work. And come back into neutral. From here, we're going to curl our toes. We're gonna to inhale to prepare. Abdominals are relatively relaxed. And as we exhale, we're gonna scoop the belly in and lift the hips up toward the ceiling, flattening out the upper back, letting the head hang between the shoulders. Inhale, come down, let the abdominals relax. Exhale, scoop the belly in and lift those hips, flattening out the upper back. Good. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift those hips and contract abdominal wall, stretching through the spine. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift, engaging the core as we breathe out. We've got four. Push up through the heels of the hands. And three. Stretching out those shoulders, lengthening through the spine. Good. And lift. And lower down. Amazing work. Now from here, I'm going to drop onto my left forearm. And I'm going to extend my right leg out long on a diagonal. From here, we're going to draw a circle in the air with that knee. Circle and extend, opening up in the hips. Circle and extend, stretching and lengthening through the toes, opening up in that hip as we circle around and stretch out long in the diagonal. Good, gently warming up the lower body here. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Relax those shoulders down away from your ears for three, and two, and final one. Nice work. Now we're gonna come into a kneeling position and we're gonna work through some arm circles. So you can either stand if kneeling is uncomfortable for you or you could sit cross-legged. We're gonna lift the arms up and circle them down and back. Grow really tall up through the spine here. Chin is parallel with the floor and reach through those fingertips. Opening in the chest, mobilizing those shoulders. <sighs> Inhale as you lower, exhale as you come up and around. Reaching and stretching and moving with the breath. <sighs> 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 
for two and final one nicely done now I'd like you to turn so that you're facing me again you could be stood up for this or you can be kneeling I'm going to bring the arms out in front palms facing in arms are at shoulder height we're going to inhale and exhale open arm twist to the right looking out over right shoulder back to center and open arm twist to the left so I'd like you to keep your hips facing forward here just rotating around in the torso as you breathe out keep those arms level at shoulder height reach long through those fingertips and stretch and open through the chest and into the neck good we've got five and four rotate a little bit further around each time three four two and final one nice work back to center now we're going to come down dropping the right forearm down to the floor and now we're going to extend that leg out long circle around and extend circle around open through the hip and extend nice work relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears stretching out long through those toes as you extend out on a diagonal good warming up the thighs the glutes and the hip breathe through it plug navel into spine for three and two and one nice work now from here we're going to position our wrists below our shoulders we're going to take the knees nice and wide and curl the toes coming back into a child's pose stretching and lengthening and then shooting forward into plank I'm going to move back a little bit so we're coming down stretching and elongating through the tailbone and then shooting forward holding in a high plank plugging navel to in toward the spine send it back stretch and lengthen shoot forward nicely done send it back lengthen through that tailbone and shoot forward send it back nice strong flat plank good inhale to come back into your child's pose stretch those shoulders exhale hold for a split second in high plank powering up to those shoulders warming up that abdominal wall good we've got three two and last one holding for five for four lift abdominal wall for three and two and one soften knees down to the mat and move yourself into position into an all fours position you're going to need your weights for this if you're using them I'm going to hold on to one of my weights and from this all fours position we want to make sure wrists are below the shoulders knees are below the hips we're going to extend the right arm out long palm is facing in toward the midline of the body we really want our shoulders to be level here so we're going to lift and lower without letting that right shoulder raise up higher than the left lift and lower breathe out to lift inhale to lower good really engage your core here so you have a nice strong stable trunk as we lift and lower that weight keeping the arm nice and long and strong keeping the shoulders down away from the ears and both shoulders level good we've got three two and one now we're going to come up and hold the arm level with the torso and then pulse up good little pulses here gaze stays down at the mat getting into that right shoulder we've got five four three two and one relax it down nice work 
So now we're gonna come around and do the back of the arm. So again, shoulders stay level. If you haven't got your weight, you've just got long fingers here. We're gonna lift and lower. Same movement as we were doing before, but this time now we're working the triceps and the upper back muscles. Good, again, keeping those shoulders level, that is your challenge. Squeezing that tricep at the top of the lift. Breathe out to get that weight up. Arm is nice and straight. Core is engaged. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top and pulse. Little controlled pulses here. Ooh, these burn. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. Nicely done. I'd like you to sink back into child's pose. Okay, I'm gonna come over and do the other side now. I'm gonna turn this way so that you can see clearly, but you can stay facing in that same direction if that works for you. So level out those shoulders, wrists below your shoulders, knees below your hips, taking the left hand forward, leveling out those shoulders. Breathe out to lift. Good work. Try not to lean to one side. Keep those shoulders and hips level. Gaze is on the mat, neck is in line with the spine. Breathe out to lift. Lift, lift for five, four. Working those shoulders, three, two, and one. Good. Lower for a moment. Bring that weight up to torso height and pulse. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and relax it down. Nice work, let's pull the weight back behind. Again, you can do long fingers. If you're not using the weight, we're gonna lift and lower. Leading up with that little finger so the thumb is pointing down toward the mat. Arm is straight, shoulders are level. I know I keep saying that about shoulders being level, but it's really important. We want nice, well-developed, balanced strength. Good. Maintaining that form. Abs are engaged here. We've got four. Ooh, I'm sweating. Three, two, and one. Now, bring it back to the top if you're not already there, and pulse. Little controlled pulses. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Nicely done. Okay, from here, we're going to move into a different position. We're gonna sit down on our bottoms and <clears throat> I'm gonna take a hold of just one of the weights. So sitting up nice and tall, stacking the vertebra. I'm gonna take my weight in my right hand I'm gonna stretch the left leg out long. Actually, let's use two weights for this. Again, if it gets to be too much, that you can put that left weight down. Now from here, both weights are gonna come out in front. If you're not using weights, you've got long fingers. I'm gonna sink back into a C curve, engaging the abs, and then I'm just gonna pull back on that right side, keeping the hips even, so I'm not letting those that left hip lift up off the ground, that left bum cheek move up off the ground as I pull back. The weight stays at shoulder height in that supporting hand. We're pulling back, looking out over the shoulder with the eye. If this is hard on the back, sit up a little taller and just focus this work in the shoulders. If you want more of a challenge, sink back a little further and really switch on those abs. Good. Pull it back with power and precision. Nicely done. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. We've got three, 
two and one amazing sit up nice and tall give those arms a bit of a rest for a moment extend the right leg out long left knee bends we come back into our c curve and pull back on that left side really kind of flex your thigh muscles here as well it'll help with stability so we don't want to be moving around in the lower body we want that still and stable as we pull back good giving it a lot of energy we've got four three two and one Woo. those were tough okay good work now from here we're going to bring the weights together and again if you're not using weights you're going to take your hands out in front palms in toward each other you can either have your legs straight for this or bend i'm going to bend i'm placing the weights together i'm going to sink back into my c curve and then i'm going to switch from side to side <sighs> drawing an arc in the air with those weights or those hands as we come over working into the obliques the waistline and working those shoulders and arms as we lift up and over lift up and over Woo. keep your balance and stability we've got five four three working hard for two you've got this and one nice work now I'm just going to place my weights off to the side and let's just take a moment here to roll out those shoulders lifting the shoulders up and rolling them down and back melting away tension Ooh, I'm shaking those were tough let's take one more nicely done we're now going to move into position for some of our lower body work so I'm going to come down into an all fours position you can either be up on your palms like so or down on your forearms if that feels better for you if you want to give your wrists a little bit of a rest move to the top of your mat so you've got space behind you from here I'm going to extend my left leg out long lengthening through those toes now from here I'm going to lift the leg one two lower so I'm lifting a little higher a little higher and lowering one two lower down lift lift lower down now I want you to really vacuum your belly button in toward your spine so that you're protecting your lower back as you lift that leg so it's not a jerking motion we're squeezing the bum squeezing those left bum cheeks to get that lift tap lift lift and lower tap lift lift and lower good work really nice and broad across those shoulders pushing the mat away lengthening through those toes and focusing our mind and our intention on those left glutes and hamstrings now good lift lift and lower up two lower down lift lift and lower you've got this stick with it we've got three and two and final one nicely done now I want you to leave the leg at torso height and we're just going to pulse little controlled pulses here really plug your navel in towards your spine broaden across those shoulders make sure the hips are square with the mat <sighs> breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth give me five four three two and one lower down nicely done now again you can move down onto the forearms if it's too much up on those wrists we're going to continue on with that left side so this time we're going to bend the left knee and we're doing the double lift but this time with a bent leg so lift lift and lower so you're lifting halfway up to torso height the full height and then lowering lift lift and lower lift lift and lower up two and lower down lift a little higher 
and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Really think, thinking about those left glutes. Firing up the gluteus medius here, the gluteus maximus rather. Good, as we lift and lower. Don't worry if you lose coordination for a minute, just slow it down and really focus on elevating that knee up and squeezing those glutes and hamstrings. Lift, lift, and lower. Try not to collapse in those shoulders. Keep them nice and broad. Lift, lift, and lower. Last three, and two, and one. Hold it there. Nice broad shoulders, engaged core, and pulse. Pulsing, lifting that big toe up toward the ceiling. Little controlled pulses. Keep breathing. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax it down. Amazing. Now, from here, we're going to come down onto our sides. Again, I'm sticking with that left leg. I'm going to use my weights, but again, they are totally optional. So coming down onto the right side, supporting your head in your hand or on your outstretched arm. Take a moment here to set yourself up. Make sure your weights are handy. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked. We're going to bend the lower leg so that the shin is parallel with the mat and the knee is in line with the hip. And then I'm just gonna place my weights, you can do one or two or none, on my hip, just below my hip. Now from here, we're gonna lift and lower that top leg. Now I want you to keep that top leg in line with your torso. So we're lifting and lowering, starting off nice and slow, focusing our mind and our attention on those left glutes, working into the side booty here, working into the thighs and the waistline. So as we breathe out to lift, I want you to really contract your core. Good, point and lengthen through the toe of the extended leg. Nice long neck, nice relaxed shoulders. Good. <sighs> lift. Really squeeze into the gluteus medius muscle at the top of the lift. Again, this is slow, really focusing on activating the muscles, activa activating those thighs and glutes with every lift. <sighs> Controlling the movement on the way up as well as on the way down, keeping those toes pointed. <sighs> that really helps with the muscle engagement as well. We've got three, two, and one. I'd like you to hold, lengthen the whole spine, lengthen the leg, and pulse it up. Little control pulses here. <sighs> Woo, thighs and glutes are on fire. Abs are engaged. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hold, shake, 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 and lower down. Whew, that was tough. Okay, good work. Now from here, we're gonna come into an all fours position. We're gonna drop the right forearm down onto the mat, and we're gonna move into position for some fire hydrants on that left side. So we're opening and closing opening and closing. So lifting that knee, lifting that thigh to the side. And as we do so, notice I'm pausing for a moment at the top of that lift to really squeeze that gluteus medius muscle. Lift, challenge yourself, make this movement count. Really focus on that side booty as you lift up and lower. We've got six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice long neck, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Let's take the knees nice and wide and just sink back into a child's pose. We're gonna take a few deep breaths here. Inhale, 
and exhale, just walk those fingertips even out further in front of you, stretching and lengthening through the shoulders and the spine, lengthening out through that tailbone. <sighs> Last breath in through the nose and slowly breathe out <sighs> through the mouth. Nice work. Now we're gonna come over and do the right side. So we're down in our all in our all fours position or on our forearms. We're making sure we've got space behind us, extending that right leg out long, extending the spine here, lengthening, gazes down on the mat. We're lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift a little higher, and lower. Step two, and lower. Really squaring those hips with the mat. You've got a gentle tuck in that tailbone, so that your low back is really long. And again, we're vacuuming that belly button in toward the spine as we breathe out and lift the leg. Good. Nice work. Gently push mat away. Nice, strong, broad shoulders. Nice, long neck. Good. Keep it up. Lift, lift and lower, one, two, and lower. Really focusing our mind on the right gluteus maximus muscles, hamstrings, working hard. Even the calves are switched on here because I'm really pointing and lengthening through those toes. Good, we've got four, three, squeeze that bum, two, you can do it. Last one and hold it torso height. Make sure your abs are engaged here and start pulsing it up. Little controlled pulses. <sighs> Breathe through it. Try not to collapse in the shoulders. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Nice. Now bend that right knee. Point through the toes, lift, lift, and lower. Up, two, and lower. Again, being really careful, who I just went up for three, <laughs> two. Being really careful that we're not arching that low back as we come up. Don't jerk the leg up. Little controlled pulses. Don't worry about how high you get. You don't have to get that leg higher than torso height. We're focusing on those glutes. That's where you should be feeling the work. Hamstrings are working here too. Good. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower for four. And three. I know they're tough, stick with it. For two. And final one. And we're holding it here. Broaden across those shoulders. Plug navel in and pulse. Poking little holes in the ceiling with that big toe. Nice, stable, strong trunk. Abs engaged. <sighs> Focusing on those glutes. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Now coming over onto that side body. making sure that your right leg is on top. You're supporting your head in your hand or on your arm. Let's bend that lower leg, knee in line with the hip, shin in line with the edge of the mat. Take the weights if you're using them and pop them just below the hip. Now from here, we're lengthening out the spine. We're ensuring that the leg is in line with the torso and we're going to start lifting and lowering that top leg. Good. Focusing on that waistline as well. Really tightening the core. Good. Lift that leg up. Squeeze the side booty at the top of every lift. Control the leg on the way up as well as on the way down, keeping the muscles switched on, keeping the toes pointed. Good. Make sure that you have the muscles switched on in that lower leg too. That'll help with stability. 
so you're not rocking around too much while you do this. You want a really nice stable base of support so you can isolate the work in that top leg, that top um, glute. Good, lifting and lowering. Slow it down if you need to. Good, we've got six, five abs in, four, three, nice long relaxed neck and shoulders, two, and one. Hold it here, lengthen through the spine and pulse. Little pulses, Ooh, these burn. Super effective. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax down. Nice work. Now from here, we're coming into our all fours position. We're dropping the left forearm down onto the floor, relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears and opening up on that right side getting into that right side booty, lifting and squeezing the gluteus medius at the top of the lift. Slow. Abs are in. We've got eight, seven, six, for five, four, three, lift a bit higher for two and one. Hold at the top and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Lower it down. Oh my goodness, those burned. Take the knees nice and wide. Keep the hips elevated. Walk your hands out in front. Relaxing forehead down onto the mat, stretching and lengthening through that spine. <sighs> Holding it in puppy pose, stretching out those shoulders, opening in the hips, <sighs> and regulating the breath. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> For three and two. And one. Nice work. Now we're going to get into our abdominal portion of the workout. I'm going to be using the weights for some of the moves. Again, all of these exercises can be done without. And if you're losing good form with the weights, just drop them off. Don't bother using them. So we're going to start off. I'm going to hold on to both of my weights. I'm in a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna hold the weights out in front. You have two options here. Either you come halfway back and lift, halfway back and lift, or you come all the way down and lift. Okay, so coming all the way down slowly and then peeling up slowly. So we're starting off really slow and controlled. Knees are bent. Good, lowering, getting into those lower abs as you lower down and then peeling back up. So you're really working on your spinal articulation here too. Even if you're not coming all the way down to the mat, you're rolling down and then peeling back up. If you are lowering all the way down to the mat, make sure you're lowering down one bone at a time and engaging the core the whole way down. So never just kind of flopping back down to the mat. Good. We've got three. Nicely done. And to work those upper abs on the way up. And last one, lift and relax the weights down. Nice work. Now from here, I'm gonna bring my weights in my hands. Weights are touching. You can use one weight or no weight. If you would like, you can just have your palms facing in toward each other. I'm going to 
bend both the legs, inhale here, and as I exhale, I'm going to cross over the body, bringing the weights to the outside of the body as I extend the leg up long. Now, if that's too much with the leg extending, you can bring it in with a bend. I want you to really stabilize across the hips so you don't want to be sort of twisting in the hips. You're just rotating around the rib cage, so you're working into those obliques, pressing your low back down onto the mat as you come up and over, reaching out to the side and down with those weights or those hands. Good, notice I'm still moving quite slowly. I'm really focusing on getting deep into the waistline here. Good, for three and two and final one. Nice work. Relax just for a moment and we're gonna do the other side. So, weight comes overhead or hands come overhead. Good, if you are extending the leg, really point through the toes. I know I always say that, but it's really important because then you have a nice strong leg, you're creating, you're flexing the muscles in your legs, so you're working your abs as well as those calves and thighs. <sighs> Pressing the low back into the mat as you lift that right shoulder blade up off the mat. <sighs> Good. Moving with the breath. Again, really flattening the abdominal wall in toward the spine every time you cross over. <sighs> We've got four and three and two. Lift a bit higher and final one. Nice work. Now, from here, we're going to continue to work into those obliques. We're going to, looks like this if you're not holding on to the weights, you're gonna peel up and you're just gonna reach from side to side. And as you do so, you're plugging your belly up button in, resting your head on top of your shoulders and flattening your low back to the mat. If you're holding onto your weights, your palms are facing in, let's peel up, resting head on top of the shoulders, and reach from side to side. Really reach, shortening the distance between your rib cage and your hip as you come over from side to side. Have a look at those legs. They shouldn't really be swaying from side to side. They'll be moving a little bit, but try to keep them really stable. Again, isolating this work in the waistline. Reach, reach, reach. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Now from here, I'm gonna place my weights off to the side. I'm not gonna use them for this next exercise. We're gonna interlace our fingers, take them behind the head. We're gonna bring the legs into a tabletop position and we're gonna go into some expansions with the legs. Now, if this gets too much with head, neck, and shoulders lifted at any point, please do put them down on the mat. Protect that neck. From here, we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to peel up into a crunch and extend the right leg so it's parallel with the mat and the left leg lifts and stretches. And then opposite side. <sighs> Good. Option here, too, if this is too much, you can take your hands on either side of your tailbone. Good. Really slow and controlled. Working those lower abs, flattening that belly button down toward the mat as you extend and stretch those legs. Back to tabletop between each repetition. Good work. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale to open and expand. We've got five, four, nice work, for three, last two, 
And final one, relax both legs down together. Amazing work. I'd like you to come over onto your stomach now. And we're gonna get into some, a little bit of low plank work. So we're gonna power up through those shoulders and work those abs. So I'm going to interlace my fingers, bring the elbows so they're below the shoulders and lift into a low plank. So from here, the feet are flexed, legs are about hip distance apart. I'm gonna inhale here. And as I exhale, I'm gonna scoop the belly in. Again, that sort of vacuuming in of the belly button to the spine and then come back into that low plank. And inhale. Lift the tailbone, scoop belly in and inhale to lower. Flatten out the back and lower, good. Nice work. We've got four and three and two. Lift those lower abs and last one. Soften knees down for a moment. Now I'm gonna give you a couple options with this next move. We're gonna do two of what we just did, lifting the hips up so it looks like this. Lift, lift, and then we're coming in to hip dips, three and four. Now if it's too much with the legs lifted, you can lower your knees down to the mat for your hip dips. Otherwise, you're staying in low plank the whole time. So we're here, lift, lower, lift, lower, hip dip. One, two, three, and four, low plank. Lift, lower, lift, lower. One, two, three, and four, low plank. Lift, lower, keep that up, those abs lifted, lower. Drawing an arc in the air with the bum as you tap from side to side. Hold plank, lift, low plank, lift, low plank. One, two, three, and four. Last two sets, lift, low plank, lift, low plank. One, two, three, and four. Last set, lift, low plank, Lift, scoop belly in, one, two, three, and four. Ooh, take your knees down on the mat, take them nice and wide, and just sink back into child's pose. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. <sighs> For three, and two, and one. Finishing off strong, we've got one more plank exercise to really burn out those abs before we move into our lovely cool down and stretch. So let's give it all we've got for this final move. We're going to extend the right leg back, extend the left leg back, coming into plank. Now we're gonna bring right knee to left elbow and back, right knee to right elbow and back. Switch over left left to left elbow, cross and over, cross and over, switching legs between each rep, good, crossing and then tapping it to the elbow, keep breathing, keep moving, last two sets, last one, and send those hips up into a downward dog. Whew. Breathing deeply here. <sighs> Flattening out the upper back, inhaling in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can start pedaling out the heels here. <sighs> Breathing deeply, stretching and lengthening through the spine. For three and two and one. 
Bring the knees down onto the floor. Take your right foot between your hands. Stretch that back leg out long, foot is flat on the floor, and peel up into an elevated position, interlacing your hands on your right thigh, and just gently pushing that left hip forward, stretching into the hip flexor. Ooh, working on regulating that breath, breathing in through the nose slowly, growing up nice and tall, and then exhale through the mouth, just pushing that left hip a little bit further forward, enjoying that stretching and opening. Nice work, lower the hands to the floor, bring the right knee down, left hand, left foot comes between the hands. Back leg is nice and straight out behind you. Interlace the fingers onto that left thigh. Wow, I feel so shaky after that routine. There was a lot of muscle activation going on, a lot of burning out of those muscles. I feel like it was a really effective workout. Gently push that right hip forward. Melt those shoulders down and back. And lower hands to the floor. Come into a seated position. We're gonna bring the right foot in toward the inner left thigh and stretch that left leg out long. From here, reach the arms up. Grow really nice and tall through the spine, inhale. And as you exhale, just fold over to the left side, keeping your right bum cheek on the floor. <sighs> Stretching through the side body and up the left leg, up and down the left leg. <sighs> Reach a bit further if you can and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Recenter. Bring opposite foot in toward the thigh. Reach and grow tall, lengthen through the spine and those fingertips and then fold over. Ooh, this side feels tighter than the other. Sometimes that happens. Ease a little bit more deeply into the stretch with every breath. Fold over a little bit more. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Two and one. Nice work. Now from here, we're gonna come down onto our backs and stretch out our glutes. So I'd like you to cross your left leg over your right, interlace your fingers, take them behind your right thigh and just hug that right knee in towards you. If you can, try to keep your tailbone touching the mat so you can really stretch out the lower back here as well. Relax those shoulders, lengthen through the spine and open up in the hip, stretching those glutes for three, <clears throat> excuse me, and two, and one. Lower, switch sides. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Hug that leg in a little bit closer. For three and two and one. Take your hands behind your knees and roll up into a seated position. <coughs> Excuse me. And turn and face me. From here, we're going to lift our shoulders up by our ears. Inhale and exhale, roll them down and back. Last two. And final one, melt those shoulders down and back. Amazing work. I hope you enjoyed that routine. You worked your entire body. You should feel proud of yourself. I look very much forward to working out with you again next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.